Perhaps. It's coming. That song again. Is it? Is it? Is it? It's Hella. Yes. The source of the darkness. It's coming. This is your moment. What are you doing? You're showing weakness. You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight! Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You fail the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? So How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's cursed. The shadow hates Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself because there is no one left to do that for you. Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just Do like it. your Go sword. On. Come on. There. Why go on? When you give everything and face that which torments you. Only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined. Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory. A feeling. A song. It's not real. It's true. It's not real. It's real. Listen to it. She can't no, give up. Daddy. Daddy. It's not like this. It it's not real. It is real. It's a trick. Don't trust it. Maybe you're already dead. Who are you? Do you still believe in yourself?
it's not. Slow. How could you keep going? How could you keep going? <laughs> Ignore the pain. I told you it was the trick. You. I told you. Where are you going? See, there's nothing to find. Come on. Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father, Zinbel, made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her world. Like this one. Barren. And lonely. He was the lone figure of a boy. He's there, under the tree. Saw play under the shade of a tree. She remembers the first time she saw him. To her young eyes, he moved as if dancing. And the world danced with him. The gloom lifted. First time in years she felt a ray of hope. Where is he? He's there. Where is he? He's there. Under the tree. You can see him. There he is. You have to keep Dylan going. waiting. You keep going.
The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him, so King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. 
I'm not. I don't leave home much. Oh, Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one. Well, I I watched you, and you learnt all of that from watching me. <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dilly. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who's supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. You killed him. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So no one knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide, don't tell her. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up!
the runes. You need that sword. Cut the shard. Find the shards. Where is it? Find, Find it. it. There it is. Focus. Focus. The shard. Focus. Focus. Use your eyes. Look. Get closer. What can you see? Go to it. It's not safe. Don't go near it. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur. The second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. 